my suggestion is that you let the editor know. And as an editor, my response would always be, if you can review this paper without bias, I still need your expertise. Uh, welcome to our world. It, uh, this is a, um, it's a community of scholars, and, and it's a, a community defined by micro-communities. And uh, any, any reviewer and any editor will, will run across that, that issue very quickly in, in his or her, her time. If you suspect that you know who the author is, it's really your obligation to inform the editor of this. And I agree that usually the editor will ask if, uh, okay, uh, editors oftentimes won't even commit to say, well, let's assume you're right, that's who well, the author of the paper is. Do you still feel that you can give an unbiased judgment? And then it's in, it's in your court. It doesn't help anyone if you're unqualified to review the paper and you, in fact, do a review. And I mean, I, there is a certain, uh, a certain norm or some pressure that says, you know, you should do this. It's kind of your, uh, somewhat of an obligation as a member of the field. But if you're unqualified to do it, you really should tell them, I'm unqualified, you've got the wrong person, and, 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 and notify the editor immediately. It might be possible that, that the editor would say, well, I'd still like you to review it, just make a note uh, explaining to me that you're not uh, competent to review the, the statistical analysis and I'll make sure that I have uh, one or more other reviewers who, who can handle that. Often, um, as editors, we do assign papers to people that are not directly in the area of expertise, but that have a broader sense of our readership and what they might be looking for in a manuscript. So you may have been selected because you're an expert in the methodology, but not the theoretical area, or because we're trying to get a representative from a broader readership. So when in doubt, I would ask the editor, tell them that you're not feeling particularly comfortable with the area, and if the editor selected you for one of those reasons, he or she will say, this is why I think you could give me some valuable feedback on the manuscript. An editor once told me when I, when I took on an editorial role that he always wanted to have three different uh, people look at a, at a manuscript. He wanted a junior person who was completely on top of the paper and methodologically sound. He wanted a more senior person in that area that could speak to the broader import of the question. And then he wanted a very uh, general sort of person to speak to the, the broad impact of the question itself within the rest of the field. And that was a high aspiration, but it, it signaled to me early on that you're looking for different kinds of, of reviews on these, these manuscripts. It is always inappropriate to, to take information and data from a paper you're reviewing and to put it in your paper unless there is something, again, some, some extraordinary circumstance where, again, you would contact the editor, as always, and ask the editor, essentially, to contact the author on your behalf to say something, but it would, it would have to be something that, 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 that really is extraordinary. It's, it's back to this idea of who owns these things. It's not yours. It belongs to someone else. It really is plagiarism to take that and, and put that in your paper. Um, first and foremost, you cannot share that paper with anyone else, whether that's electronically or even describing it at a casual conversation with one of your colleagues. There is um, a strict confidentiality around the reviewer process. Um, however, when you um, are engaged in your own research, if you want to borrow ideas from that, you absolutely need to cite that author. So there's a couple of ways to do that. One is to wait until after the editorial decision is made. If it is accepted, then you know who the author is and you can cite it freely. If it's rejected from the journal, I would contact the journal editor, say you want to cite this work, and they will contact the authors, and the authors can then choose to disclose their identity so that you can cite the work. From the editor's perspective, we absolutely think it's your ethical responsibility that if you have agreed to do the review, it stated the, d the date that you were to do it by, that you should do it by that date. That being said, if you accept the review but you contact us and say, I need an extra week or I need a couple of, ex of extra days, we're more than happy to accommodate. But where it really becomes problematic is someone who accepts 
never does the review and never responds to our repeated interactions to get that review back. That is a very unethical situation and you would not want to find yourself in that position as an author. So don't put yourself in that position as a reviewer. One of the things about our journals that's so important to keep in mind is that, that we're trying very hard to give quick feedback. That's something that um, we strive for at the Academy Journals. And the reason why is that people's careers are on the line here. And I think we sometimes forget that. Do not accept the review unless you know you can do it. Um, come in on time, um, and if you can't come in on time, tell the editor you're not going to be on time. So I consider it a professional responsibility, particularly if you want to be part of the process and you want to submit your work to that journal. But absolutely, people who submit papers to journals certainly have an ethical responsibility to do reviewing. Uh, the idea that, you know, you call someone, I, many times you know, as AMJ editor, you'd contact someone or they'd contact you and say, I can't do this, I'm busy. Everyone is busy. And the people who are reviewing your paper are busy. And you want an answer, and we're going to get you an answer. But the only way this works is if you do your part as well. So yes, I think there is an ethical responsibility to do reviewing especially for those people who submit.